222 day, we will talk about Casper again and IP we because this IP and patent tokenization is a very huge concept, and I don't think that it is over and done with, and especially for Casper. So IP we will continue operations and has lined up a buyer. IP we has filed for chapter 11, which I have explained is a reorganization. Uh, could that potential buyer be IBM? I have uh, talked about that a c couple of times off of the opinions of uh, probably Tokenizer and possibly Kevin Cage. I forget off of the top of my head. But apparently IP we owed IBM on on some things on their balance sheet and it would make sense that IBM would be interested in uh, just outright purchasing them because of all of the connections in between IPWE, IBM, and C C Casper that I will explain more on here. So here's from Tokenizer. So if an American b b based company files for chapter 11, but they also have a subsidiary in Japan, would that subsidiary be impacted? Uh, in short, no, subsidiaries are typically legally separate entities, so they maintain their own assets, liabilities, and operations. Um, there are a number of ways that an organization can overall be uh, or organized, I guess. But in general, especially when you're operating in a different country, uh, you are a separate financial and taxable entity that has to have its own uh, revenue stream. So in June of 2021, 20, significant revisions were made to Japan's code, emphasizing the importance of transparency and accountability in the management of IP. The revisions mandate that publicly traded companies disclose plans for handling IP and intangible assets and implement governance to ensure appropriate evaluation by investors and financial institutions. IP Wee's plan was to, to offer Japanese innovators a way to easily comply with that code with an efficient, transparent, and effective way to uh, manage and utilize their IP assets, which is all about uh, t t t tokenizing IP on Casper. Uh, so the big point here is that it only makes sense for IPWE to establish a physical presence in Tokyo to support that innovation as well. So technically, IPWE in Japan could still be independently operating and mostly uh, f financially not in pacted. The idea of the t t tokenization of IP, in my opinion, is uh, too large of an idea to just um, go away with IP. We um, There's a reason why names like D Deloitte, IBM, M Maersk, WIPO, Casper and more all took note of IP We the, the S and P 500 alone is made of 84% intangible assets. So, if you look at IP We overall, it is a healthy combination of clients, customers, collaborations, and infrastructure. I would also imagine that the business IP We is quite expensive to operate. So um, the big point here is that uh, IP, so I've mentioned why IBM buying out IP we would make perfect sense and this has only uh, increased in light of the announcement that IP we has lined up a buyer. So Leanne P uh, is the CEO of IPWE and Satoshi 
not sure who that is, but I'm assuming that they're uh, high up in IPWE, are ex-IBM patent executives. IBM is the bridge from Hyperledger to Casper for IPs, and IBM is a global leader in patents for over 30 years. Now, uh, let's not forget IPWE is quite involved with Japan as well, as I just explained. So it's just too large of a partnership, especially in between IBM, IPWE, and Casper, to think that there's not plans to continue all of this work when about 84% of the value of S and of the S and P 500 is IP that could p- potentially end up tokenized on c- 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 Casper and the plans uh, rollout of IP w- 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 NFTs would be the largest enterprise blockchain deployment at this point in time. So as a reminder of that, um, a lot of people don't see how big IPWE's patent NFTs on the Casper chain is. It will set a new expectation for tokenization of real world assets in the enterprise space. This is a little older. Um, it's about uh, a month and a half old now because uh, we did not yet officially know that there were problems there. However, uh, all of the ties in uh, IPWE run v- very deep, not only in uh, IPWE and IBM, but uh, with IP and uh, patent experience as well. So the two co-founders of IPWE were collaborating t- together on an investment firm to invest into IPs which obviously ties directly into IP Wii's model itself. So this whole idea of tokenizing IP, I don't think it's about to to, to just die off here. And just as a reminder, there is a lot happening with Casper and IBM for AI. And uh, I do have more information on that that I will put together. But here from IBM, that they have found 63 generative AI use cases and 16 business functions that could uh, deliver total value in the range of 2.6 trillion to 4.4 trillion each and every year. And that is from McKinsey. But who is working with? one of the most significant uh, AI and technology and even uh, quantum computing companies on Earth. Well, that is Casper. And uh, they are planning to put together a blockchain-powered solution with IBM to help improve transparency and auditability for generative AI. And I have explained it a bit. It is, in short, uh, able to tokenize all of the inputs and outputs into AI in order to go back and uh, review what inputs led to what outputs. So I don't think Casper is about to go anywhere just because of IPWE. In fact, I think that uh, there might be even more because there is a possibility that IBM becomes even more involved.